So we opened this shop around seven years ago. Okay. So when we opened, we were simply um, a family business, uh -huh. coffee shop. Uh -huh. So just Italian products. And, um, but as you said, the rise of Arabic influence in Knightsbridge and South Kensington influenced us as well. Uh -huh. So our customers, they asked for um, Arabic coffee and chai karak and, you know, Arabic sweets. And um, we didn't know at the beginning so then we introduced this um, um, sorry. we introduced Arabic coffee and the original recipes from uh, for example Saudi Arabia or Qatar, Kuwait in all the Gulf countries mm -hmm. so the um, our clients our customers are mostly from these countries yeah. We combine both Mediterranean food, as you can see, yeah. and uh, Arabic food, mm -hmm. cakes, desserts, drinks. And um, I can see that most of our customers, mm -hmm. they love their culture, like, I mean, their, their own, um, you know, cakes, but yeah. also they are very curious about um, English yeah. afternoon tea selections yeah. or cakes and uh -huh. uh, Mediterranean food as uh -huh. well. So you're trying to combine both cultures into one place. Exactly, and we became a destination yeah. for that one. Yeah, yeah, so I, I, people, they come to London and they go to Lobra. What do you see the future of Knightsbridge turning into? Like, I mean, we all know that Arabs are buying properties here, um, whether Qatar is owning a part of Harrods or a part of Hyde Park. What, what, give me, I just want to know your take on what might happen like in the next coming five to ten years. I think the uh, influence of the Arabic countries will raise even more. Even more. Mm -hmm. Even more. I can see. I've been working here for two years and more. Yeah. And I can see since I started, yeah. we're raising and raising and raising. Not in Lopper, I mean in Knightsbridge. Yeah. I can see is full, full of Arabic people. Yeah. And that's that's fascinating because they help also the economy. Yeah. You know, for what I believe. Uh huh. Because they come here on holiday, so not only for us, but also for uh, Harrods, the restaurants, mm -hmm. and everything. So I think it's a very, very important presence. Yeah. And I know you mentioned that most of your customers are Arabs, but do you, what do you do to try to cater to your non Arab customers? You know, like whether it's changing up the menu or, or is that your intention is to only cater to Arabs? No, we have that one menu yeah. and it's um, for everyone. Okay. We have just one, including all our products. Uh -huh. And then I can see that European people are very fascinated from the Arabic uh -huh. culture. Okay. So when they come, they maybe they prefer tasting Arabic uh, cakes or food yeah. or drinks. Uh -huh. They are very, very fascinated by the karak, chai, uh -huh. karak, chai karak, or yeah. the Arabic coffee, yeah. the gawa. gawa. <laughs> yeah, and that's very, very interesting. So, for what concerns the Arabic coffee and the karak, yeah. as you can see, we are cooking over there yeah. in those two big kettles. Yeah, I see. And uh, it's a long process. Yeah. All the rest, the recipes are confidential. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> and they are the original, original recipes from Saudi. Saudi, okay. Yes. And um, all the products mm -hmm. come from uh, Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, the Arabic coffee powder yeah. comes from uh, Saudi. Uh -huh. And it's um, a big delivery that yeah. comes from uh, Saudi straight to away to us. Wow. Yes. And, and how they, often do these deliveries happen? Uh, we sell a lot, a lot of Arabic coffee. So I would say maybe once a month. Once a month, yeah, wow. Because we want the product to be always fresh. Fresh, uh-huh. Yes. So we do big, big deliveries, both for a gawa powder or also for dates. Mm -hmm. And uh, the delivery is straight away to us. It's simply fascinating. Fascinating? <laughs> yes. I can't say bad. I can't. You honestly. can't? I can't. <laughs> you love us way too I, much. <laughs> I love this culture. Like, when I came here, I had don't, no idea yeah. about this reality, uh -huh. honestly. So when I've seen, like, all these cars, you know, Lamborghini or Ferrari yeah. or, you know, these yeah. big cars parked all outside the shop. Yeah. And uh, these people with these 
beautiful, you know, yeah. outfit mm-hmm. and makeup. Yeah, I was yeah. so fascinated. I was like, is it real? It's not just <laughs> like a cartoon, like uh, I don't know, Aladdin or something. <laughs> you work at night. It's yeah. so crowded. Yeah. The shop is packed. It's yeah. full. Yeah. People queuing outside, you know, yeah. standing in the pavement, yeah. speaking to each other. Yeah. That's great. That's like, great. Like, yeah. yeah. I don't mind. I don't mind. Like honestly, yeah. I love it. Yeah. You love it. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if the English people would say the same about us. I don't think so. No, they don't. don't. Because I think they... I think it's about uh, maybe jealousy. Jealousy? What In what think? sense? You know, your lifestyle. What can you do? This is your lifestyle. Yeah, you choose. yeah, yeah. You can choose. But I mean, if it's... Like so I can speak not only about us. Yeah. Because we are here since a long, a long time. time. Yeah, so true. we grew up with you. Like, oh, I yeah. mean... Uh, the more the more customers from the Gulf countries were coming and the more we increased mm-hmm. our products mm-hmm. related to your culture. But as you can see next door mm-hmm. as well, other shops in all Knightsbridge, they introduced mm-hmm. Arabic coffee. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure about Chai Karak. But like Arabic coffee, it was in their menu. Yeah. But because of the number of clients that requested this one, they had to you, know, you have to cater to your Arabic customers. And to to yeah. satisfy their requests. Yeah. That's the whole point. So you can find also, I'm not sure in Nightbridge. No. I'm not sure in Nightbridge, mm. but you can find specific English places. So yeah. just afternoon teas and scones yeah. and you breakfast can. Yeah, tea yeah. with cold milk, you know, yeah. this one. But here is... Both. Different. It's a Both. combination. Yes, it's a combination. That's why I think it's beautiful. Yeah. Even if you go to Harrods, yeah. you know, now the owner is Arab as yeah. well. There is a combination of all cultures, yeah, yeah. you know. 